But if you go farther north, it's going to be higher. If you go farther south, it's going to be lower. And so if you extended that rotation axis to the Earth up above and down below, that would now be halfway between, that would be the equator. That's your line there. Now let me pick a, pick a location on the Earth, say the Ark Encounter. Anybody notice that he said on the Earth? Yes, he did. He thinks he's in the center of the Earth on the Earth. And the angle that you have drawn comes from the center. But you said on the Earth. What you're drawing is not on the Earth. So you've lied to a congregation full of people, Danny. May God have mercy on your soul. From the center of the Earth to that point up on the, on the surface of the Earth. A moment ago, it was on the Earth. Tricky with words? Obviously, with a Christian audience, you'd expect him to be of the utmost sincerity with what he says. So now we're in the earth, burning in the fiery hells of the molten iron core to acquire this lying angle. I'm going to suggest not. Nobody's getting angles from a hell-like molten iron core. Do the horizontal line, and that second line I just drew there is equal to your latitude. How can that be possible? It isn't. He's also made it clear that we're in the earth taking this angle. But that is not taken from the centre of Earth. So it's close to 39 degrees. When you're in hell. What he's showing is the celestial sphere model and ignoring that that's the flat plane that bisects it is the Earth you're stood upon. And he's saying instead of it being the Earth you're stood upon, you're actually inside in hell. It's ridiculous. And it's the most sacrilegious thing I've ever heard said in a church. Tell them that Nathan Oakley 1980 sent me. You are nodding along to a man telling you that you're measuring angles in hell. On screen now, <laughs> we've got an elevation angle measurement and you can assume that the star is Polaris. Well, if this is an elevation angle measurement along a flat baseline to give you the 90 degree here, and it's at the GP, that's ground position of the star, that your flat baseline is meeting for the angle measurement in the first place, then this is a flat earth proof. It's not taken from the fires of hell. It's taken from the surface.